Wilson's Fitness represents the largest fitness community in Columbia. Uh, this building that they worked on, uh, it's about 30,000 square feet, uh, vaulted ceilings. At the time, 25,000 square feet of that was uh, unconditioned space for a tennis facility. And the idea was to transition it to a multi-court, fully conditioned space and included a, a CrossFit facility. Taking on that challenge of conditioning a facility that was previously unconditioned was an undertaking to say the least. Energy consumption and sustainability was on their mind. What was designed was a holistic package uh, including a full insulation retrofit and a full LED lighting retrofit inside and out, a new roof. The building received a solar package that was tied to a building automation system, tied to a new chiller HVAC system, all controlled by one thinking software package designed to reduce the summertime demand spikes. The system uses nighttime energy to freeze ice, and instead of using electricity during the day to cool the building, it actually just thaws that ice. The solar energy was a critical component of this package. We're offsetting the coincident spike between that facility and the Columbia Water and Light grid as a whole. If a single end user can drive down their demand through any source, that means fewer required infrastructure upgrades by our utility over the upcoming years. And it means that we don't have to fire up and use our natural gas peaking plants as much. This facility is actually consuming a lower spike and a lower consumption of electricity after they conditioned an additional 25,000 square feet of vaulted ceiling. Because Wilson's is a for-profit, they were able to take advantage of Columbia Water and Light rebates, uh, federal tax credit, and some other tax benefits. Their investment paid for itself in about four years. What really drives projects like this is when you can get that that win-win uh, where there's an economic value that benefits the end user, the community, uh, and the environment as a whole.